Hello, grateful and blessed Sunday to you all. I'm Pamela, realtor and vintage handbag lover. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Also, if I have any new subscribers, welcome to my channel where we just talk about handbags. It might be just any old hodgepodge video. I don't have a format. Um, yeah. <laughs> So that's what I do. So today I have another unboxing uh, for you guys. It is a replica Chanel handbag from, um, it's a classic flap from firstbags.ru. And the seller's name is Lydia. And I ordered this bag. She came very quickly. Um, she's been sitting because I just wanted to do, I didn't want to open her. I wanted to open her on camera. So I cut out my you know, address and stuff. That's why she looks like that. So let's get into it. See what we got here. And this will probably be my last um, replica Chanel, maybe. <laughs> I might replace the black one, the, bl the black classic flat um, 30 centimeter that I got from DH Gate. I think I will replace her with another one. But just right, not right now. Maybe, maybe I'll make that a Christmas present to myself. Um, maybe not. So I've been trying to figure out what to get um, myself for Christmas. You know, each year I try to do like a handbag, and usually I will order a handbag from Fashion File. I'll treat myself a little bit and get a, a handbag from Fashion File. But this year I'm kind of like, well, maybe I don't want to spend that kind of money. You know, maybe I'll just get, you know, um, another replica bag. I'm, I'm on, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet as what I'm going to do. But, uh, so this bag has come very se securely packaged. And I have to say, when I looked at First Bag's website, it was the same. It looked identical to You Trust Biz um, business website where Lily is the seller. So, um, I mean, you know, maybe they just use that just to show what kind of bags that they can actually replicate. I don't know. So this is a just a video for fun. I'm not uh, saying folks should go out and buy replica bags. Not endorsing, it's not sponsored. I'm just sharing with you guys what I purchased. This bag I purchased to carry um, during the winter and fall. And I guess I probably can do her in the um, springtime as well. I don't know. She's a little brown. At least she looked dark on camera. Not on camera, on the website. Um, but we'll see what we got here. And yes, I have corrected my camera situation. So this video should not cut off in the middle of me talking. Um, I had... A long time ago, I had put some extra storage on my phone, but what I neglected to do was format it. So I had to format it and then move some files over. And so now I should have plenty of space and, you know, plenty of room to do these videos on my phone. So, okay, so she's really securely packaged. Okay, so I have a black. A black dust bag this time. Okay. And this one has a little ribbon on it. So let's see what I got for my money. This one was $253. Whereas the other one that I'm going to carry in the spring was like $3 more at $256. But, um, you know, like I said, they look practically the same, except this one is a different color. So, yeah, this is the dust bag. And, yeah, I'll keep it, but I really, really don't, you know, dust bags are not a really good thing for me. Um, she looks nice already. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she is coming up true to color from the website. This is 30 centimeters, and it's like a caramel color. Let's see. She does not have a smell, and this is lambskin. This is in the lamb skin. And yes, very nice. No, I don't smell anything. Um, let me take this off of the hardware. Okay, so let's open her up. 
And I know I'm going to have to be really careful because lambskin and Florentine leather, all you have to do is look at that stuff hard enough and it'll start scratching. <laughs> so, yeah, so, okay, I am well pleased. Look at her. So she has, she has that little chip on the inside. And also the other bag I showed you guys, the one I'm going to carry in the spring, she had the chip also, but I just didn't um, show her to you. She's got like something over her plastic covering so let me take this out and I guess you guys can see I guess that's the chip yeah there you can see it there everything looks great I am well pleased this looks absolutely gorgeous a gorgeous bag and of course I've got the um, replica uh, authenticity card and let's take let's look at take a look at the at the chains at the hands at the straps and see what they look like and cut this off here okay and I'm gonna cut this off and then you know I was I'm still watching you know videos of folks purchasing Chanel handbags from the boutique and um and they're having problems, you know, they have to take the bag back. One lady, I think she, I think her channel is catwalk or something like that. But, um, I like, I enjoy watching her, um, videos and watching her, you know, reveal her luxury purchases and stuff. She has some beautiful handbags, but she revealed one, um, video where she purchased a, um, Chanel from the boutique and it had a pop stitch. So, I mean, you know, you could, it was a, it was a, it wasn't popped. It was a pulled stitch it was sticking out. And so she said she was going to take it back. And I don't blame her because I think she said she paid like $6,000 for that handbag <laughs> and the daggone stitch was sticking out, you know, something. So, yeah, I mean, hey, I would have returned it too with that kind of money. You know, now if you have a little stitch popping out on one of these replicas, you know, you yeah, it's a replica, so what are you going to do? It's, it's sticking out or whatever. Um, but so far, I haven't had any issues with the stitching. The only issue I had with any of them that I've purchased so far was that um, the black one where the little piece was sticking out. Um, but yeah, these stitches look good to me. I don't know how many it's supposed to be. I'm not going to count them. but And this chain looks great too. Yeah, that looks great. I like the way they did this. This um, the leather is actually stitched in this chain. Wow! I don't think this stitched on any of the others. It probably is stitched on the other beige one that I bought. I have to take a look at that more closely. But yeah, this leather is stitched. Now the other bags that I revealed from um, you trust biz, the three that I revealed together, those. Except for the Chanel 19, those are going to be Christmas presents for sure. I'm going to just put those, you know, um, under the under the tree. But we, I don't do a tree anymore because, you know, I don't have any grandkids and stuff. So I don't do a tree. Um, and nobody in the house, you know, really wants a tree. You know, everybody in the house is really grown and they're like, you know, here's your Christmas present. You know, and the only thing that you know, my son said, well, mom, what you want for Christmas? And I said, honey, get me a gift card for TH Maxx because, you know, I'm in and out of TH Maxx all the time. So that's what I want. And so he'll get me that. And uh, I'm happy. You know, and then I'll just buy, you know, a little something for myself. You know, a special present. Usually, a, it's usually a luxury bag I'll buy for myself for Christmas. But look at this. I just may get a black one. And lambskin. Um, yeah, this is really nice. I'll take that piece off. I'm going to keep that on there anyway. And this is really, really no, I cannot complain. The leather is super duper soft. Um, here's the bottom and the sides of her. This is really, really top line quality. Very good quality. So I will definitely be purchasing from first bags firstbags.ru and also from you trust bags are you they're private sellers 
Um, I will not be purchasing from DH Gate any anymore. You know, the two that I purchased, that's going to be it for DH Gate. Um, you know, I no, no shade on anybody about anything I say in this video. You whatever you do is your preference, but I don't think that that's going to be a um, a win for me. Um, but this one doesn't have any anything sticking out. The leather is sewn in quite beautifully. And yes, I will be wearing her. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I don't know. I was trying to think of some new video topics to do. Maybe I'll do like a um, big bag series where one week I'll carry just all big bags and kind of showcase the bags that I'm carrying, you know, for the week, you know, that are larger bags. But anyway, I don't know. I'll come up with something. But anyway, you guys stay safe and remember to love your family and love your neighbors. And until we see each other again, have a great and blessed week. Bye-bye.